Georgia. Bulldog Nation, what's going on, Bulldogs? Dog Nation, how y'all living? How y'all living? In case you didn't already know, which you should know, unless you live under a rock like Patrick Starr or somebody. National Signing Day was today. One of the biggest days in college football. All the young bright stars in high school signing their life away to, to early mornings and late nights. Yeah, they're signing their life away to these football teams, basically. You know, it's cool because, you know, we all love to play football. We all love to do this. But enough of that. Georgia Bulldogs ended up finishing number three. I thought we was going to finish number one. We was looking good, you know, all year. But it's cool, though. Number three, this is perfectly fine. As long as we're in, like, the top five every year, I can take that because I trust these coaches to coach these guys up and take us far this year. And, of course, you already know who was one and two. Alabama finished off at number one, of course. Ohio State was at number two. Georgia just edged it out at number three. So, solid recruiting year this year. Just solid. This is a solid one. Now, I'm not going to go with full details about all the players that we got. I'm just going to go with... The players, I, the player I wish I got, and the players as we looked forward to watching. Players we looked forward to watching. That didn't sound right. <laughs> the players we look forward to watching. So I'll probably give y'all like two. So we already know that Jake Fromm, top recruit, top guy. How's this, how's this battle going to look like with Easton and Fromm? Who, who do you guys prefer to play? Honestly, I think they're going to keep Easton out there just because he has his experience coming in. We're going to see only time will tell after spring practice and all that. After spring practice, and I'll get more into detail with this team. And I think we did great was recruiting these linemen. Everybody is dang near 300 pounds and up. It's just six foot, 300 pounders. Just some just meatheads. Just Getting ready to do this Alabama style of bullying on the, in, the, in, the, in the trenches. The main one is Isaiah Wilson. 6'8", 354. Damn! This man is huge. And just in case if you haven't watched this man's highlight tapes already, I suggest you go right now and go look at this man. I'm excited to watch him play. He is a bully. Like the player that you... The, t the type of lineman you would want on your team. This is this is the guy right here. So I, he's my number one player I can't wait to watch. I think that's the first. I've never been excited to watch a lineman play. <laughs> and the second is Nate McBride. This man is a monster. He He's one of those enforcers that's going to be growing every year within time. So those two players I cannot wait to watch play. D'Angelo Gibbs is another one. So... Shout out to, to Kirby with this recruiting class. I wish we got Nico Collins. Nico would have been perfect with this team. He would have been great. He would have gave Easton a big target to look forward to. This is in a 6'5", like 190 or something. He is a monster. You got to watch his highlight tape. He went to Michigan, so <sighs> can't win them all, man. Can't win them all. So Nico was a guy that I wish we had on our team. Isaiah Wilson, uh, Nate McBride, D'Angelo Gibbs, the players I can't wait to watch. Let me know down in the comment section below who did you want to recruit to our team but didn't just decided not to come and who was the players you look forward to watching this year that did get recruited by the team. So let me know down in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pop in my NCAA 14 on my 360 and dominate with Georgia. <laughs> we go.